Hey, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a daily vibes for the 21st. So, we're just gonna see whatever comes up. This may or may not be for you. We will see what happens. What do we got for the 21st for this uh, solar eclipse? What do we got? It's heavy. It's big. It is big. Very emotional. A lot of feelings from the past. A lot of regret, right, about the mistakes. And not realizing... Um, somebody's worth or something like that not realizing you know there's a lot of um, regrets over the past you know not seeing or looking at things the way that you did something like that ah, high priestess Now this is this is following your intuition. It's receiving messages intuitively. Definitely receiving messages during this time, big time. Like seeing situations clearly that you didn't see before. Like before you may have been clouded, you know, by addictions or society or by other people even. And now we're at this point where we're seeing situations uh, as they really were. You know, realizing the misconceptions and the things that we missed. It's all become very, very clear, right? It is really emotional. It's very emotional. It's a time of going within to um, listen. Really receiving a lot of messages as to why and how and that kind of thing. Clarity. Everybody is receiving a lot of clarity at this time. And it is, for a lot of you, it's in regards to love, right? It's, about, it's in regards to the affections. It's in regards to um, love, period. Very, very emotional. Um, and it does have to do with, I think it has to do with um, a relationship that, a partnership, okay, because the two is a partnership. A relationship that once held a lot of love. But perhaps the love has died for one reason or another. And, and, and I think that this love ha was lost because of misconceptions and not seeing, not seeing things clearly. Not seeing another person's gifts. But that Ace of Cups on the bottom there, you know, that can mean so many things. That's a new, 
that's a new emotion, right? It's it's finding a new emotion. It's realizing what love is, right? It's like emotional honesty here. Somebody is seeing something about a love situation that they didn't see before. Or seeing something about love. Seeing love differently, perhaps. What is love, anyway? What is love? Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is forgiving. It does not boast. It does not keep records of wrongs. And I don't know the rest of it, but somebody will post it, I'm sure. Love, but love, true love conquers all. Right? Somebody is trapped. Trapped in their thoughts. Trapped in their own prison. All tied up. But able, this person is able to get out of this heat, to, you know, get unstuck. This person is able to. But they've got so much pain inside of them that they're they're keeping themselves where they're at because they can't let go of the, their old ideas, their old ways. And inside of them, it's like their fears are burning. They're burning inside. Because deep down, they love. And they have love to offer. But they're afraid, to, afraid of something. Mm. Mm. Whew. Somebody is clinging to the past, clinging to the memories of a partnership that has broken up, okay? This partnership has broken up. They've lost their stability. Stubbornly. Stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. Somebody has stubbornly held on to protecting something and hiding something. Hiding their true feelings or whatever the case is. They were distracted perhaps. Somebody has gotten distracted and gotten went down the wrong road. And it's like they've lost their willpower and ambition to make a move when they know they need to make a move. It's like they're being guided to make some sort of move. But they just don't have the desire or the ambition or the drive to follow their heart. Yes, yeah, somebody is resisting change, okay, with the temperance reversed. Resisting change, you know, needing to change, maybe trying to escape, right? Trying to escape the reality of what is. Maybe that's where they were, right? Wasting time. Somebody has been wasting time not appreciating, not seeing, not... <laughs> really seeing things in a positive light. Somebody was more focused on the negative than the positive. And they've wasted their time, you know, hanging on to negative thoughts and negative ways. Somebody has absolutely tried to escape, buried their true feelings, maybe in addictions or whatnot. They should have been taking care of business. 
They should have been investing their time and energy in something that is really plaguing them from their past when they weren't. Okay, maybe they should have been investing their time and energy in their family or their partnership or their love of their life when they had the chance. And it's like now they see it clearly that they've wasted their time and they invested their energy in something that was never going to grow. wasn't ever going to grow. They wasted their time. You can't grow a plant any bigger in a little pot. It has to come out of the pot and be planted in the ground. That pot is, needs to be repotted, whatever. No matter what she does, it's not going to grow any bigger. So something, you know, somebody has invested their time and energy into something that they thought was going to grow, but it wasn't, can't happen. It doesn't work that way. Not when the past is, is plaguing you to the point where you can't get over it. Somebody has tried to mask their feelings and perhaps they got themselves involved with somebody that was just a temporary fix. And now it's like this person is starting to see things clearly. It's like the blindfold is off. The blindfold is no longer on. It's like I, I definitely, somebody is absolutely waking up about where their stability really is. The stability that they tried to hide from. There's been a, there's been a breakup. There's been, a, there's been some sort of emotional loss that somebody can't get out of their mind okay they can't they can't get out of this they can't stop thinking about this this break you know this whatever it is this breakup okay that's where that's where you know that's where their happiness lies or it was or whatever and now that it's like there's another opportunity there's another opportunity for love maybe even reconciliation I don't know this could be new love or reconciliation but in order to get this somebody's gonna have to step out of their comfort zone and stop wasting time So anyway, I feel like somebody has received some sort of message, some sort of clarity, some sort of divine guidance that says, you know, there's an opportunity for happiness if you can, this is the two of swords, if you can be honest and unblock your emotions. There's that yin and the yang. It's like there's a, there's an opportunity for a perfect match here. And it, it, you know, I think it's somebody, it could be with somebody you already know because of the Six of Cups. It could be. I think somebody has made a wrong choice and they regret it. And I don't even have the regret card. There's a lot of regrets here. Let's get some more cards. I think we're going to need a lot more for this one. What is this temperance reversed? I mean, things are unharmonious. It's like things are just not coming together since somebody made this poor decision. Somebody made a poor decision and got distracted by somebody who wasn't, or a situation that wasn't well suited for, for them. You know, they made a poor decision. <laughs> and now they see it clearly. Now they see the truth. And they may want to come through and communicate the truth. There's been a wake-up call here. Somebody has, is now seeing the truth of something, of there's dishonesty here. There's lack of courage. They're cowardly ways. 
This is fear reversed. Somebody is seeing the truth of how they treated another person. Yeah. After after they treated somebody unfairly, somebody treated somebody unfairly and they didn't want to be held accountable for their actions. And now, now maybe they've received some sort of karma for, for doing what they did, whatever the case is, some sort of, you know, penalty. Somebody didn't act with integrity and somebody knows that they didn't act with integrity and they're seeing it clearly. It's like, I see what I did wrong. And they do, they do, they do, they see what, they do see what they, somebody sees what they have done wrong and they know that they, they cheated, they lied, uh, they had a lot of lies here. Somebody really lied about quite a bit, okay. Um, they know that they were deceitful, they didn't want to be held accountable and they were trying to pretend that they didn't, that none of this was their fault and it's like now they realize that. They realize the truth, okay? There was a terrible injustice here. There was a terrible injustice here. Somebody was deceived badly. And now it looks as though somebody is about to take a stand and perhaps communicate the truth. They're going to do the right thing. Somebody is going in the process of finding the confidence to move in a new direction and put themselves where they need to be to have a new beginning and they understand this person understands that in order to have this new opportunity this new growth they're going to have to communicate the truth but there's a lot of there's a lot of fear of you know the penalty there's a lot of fear of you know what will the outcome be Will I be accepted in a positive manner or a negative manner? Somebody hurt another person, and I, I see that. Really, really hurt another person, didn't think about their feelings. They had their blindfold on, tried to escape the reality, you know, and they involved another person, and now it's just like there's been, there's been so much deception that I'm going to have to... really find the confidence to face my fears and do the right thing. We have somebody here that is scared to communicate, but it's divinely guided, okay? It's time. It's time to heal this situation. This person has hope here. This is the star card. This is hope that the truth will prevail. The truth will uh, bring them the wish fulfillment that they need. High Priestess again with the King of Swords and the Hermit reversed. Somebody has this, definitely has this fear of rejection. We have somebody here that would like to heal a situation from, a, from the past, okay? They would heal with the truth from the past. There is hope. There is hope. 
but you're going to have to come out of your shell. And there's fear of re there's definitely fear of rejection. And this person is in the process of making a decision, a firm decision. To communicate the truth. Somebody is being divinely guided to communicate the truth in regards to a partnership that used to make them really, really, really happy. Somebody is about to take some sort of stand. They are. And they know what they need to do. They do know. So if this is you, you know what you need to do. Your intuition is telling you what you need to do. You absolutely do know what you need to do. Okay? Follow your intuition. It's poking you every second at this time. Something needs to be communicated. This is the sort of communication. Something needs to be communicated to heal a situation. And it's something that you've been dreaming about, too. This has probably been coming up in your dreams or even in your daydreams. It's been on your mind quite a bit. A simple hi. I keep seeing this. It's, it's got three, but I keep seeing hi. A simple hi could break the ice. There's an opportunity here to come out of denial and speak your truth and heal, even if it's just to get closure. This is a, re there's an opportunity for a renewal here. But somebody is really scared of rejection. Really, 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 really scared of rejection. They feel like this is a lost opportunity. <laughs> but there's an opportunity to let go of the past hurts and heal this situation. Whatever it is, there's an opportunity to heal a situation if you follow your intuition. I don't know who this is for. It is time to let go of the past hurts. Stand your ground. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with the other people involved. Somebody has been left out in the cold and now they're letting their fears of not being let in hinder them from wish fulfillment. Insecurities. Their own insecurities and lack of self-love is keeping that you're keeping yourself out in the cold. <laughs> There's an opportunity for love here. There is. If somebody can walk away from that mentality, their own insecurities, if they can walk away from the past hurts, if they can just leave it behind, there's still an opportunity for love. There's still an opportunity for another chance. And you may not expect it. 
you may not believe, but there is an opportunity for two people to come back together or to come together in love. It's a blessing. There's, there is. There's an opportunity for some sort of reunion with somebody that you have known before, okay? And you may not expect this. You may not expect the response that you're going to get, but it looks as though there's an opportunity to bring peace to a situation. Rainbows are peace. Wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment right here. This is because the star is wish this is. There's an opportunity with wish fulfillment with somebody that probably doesn't fit the image. Okay, this person doesn't fit the image that you always had of your partner, but this person is the one, right? And now you have to make a choice. You have to make a decision, definitely. It is time to make a decision in regards to love. Do you want a commitment or not? This is commitment right here. Somebody's in the process of making a decision. They're being poked and guided from above, within, whatever. Their dreams are being definitely being poked and guided to follow their heart, follow their heart, follow their heart, follow their heart. Or live with the consequences of not following your heart. And there's definitely some consequences for that. <laughs> Somebody is reevaluating their opportunity for love, their opportunity for life. And they know deep down what they need to do. But they lack courage. This is, this is the truth. Okay, somebody lacks courage to fight for their wish fulfillment. You've got to find the courage unless you're a coward. Maybe there's something that needs to be healed so that somebody can move into a new relationship free and clear. I don't know, but I feel like this is some sort of reconciliation. I really do. I don't know why I feel like this is a reconciliation. Um, with somebody who's not your usual type, but they're the one, whoever this is. Um... Yeah, there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment. If somebody can step out of their ego and their pride and stop playing games. So I feel like today is a day of somebody maybe dropping somebody from their past. Just dropping it. And making a choice to choose another option. That could go that way as well. Somebody could also, because it's, I mean, I really feel like there could be a reconciliation with somebody that has, you know, there's been a breakup and now these two people are coming back together. Somebody may be deciding to let go of one option because it was unstable. It was insecure. It wasn't what they wanted. It couldn't grow because they were still hung up on the past. Somebody's coming in passionately. Oh. <laughs> oh goodness gracious 
somebody's flying in to take that opportunity. They might want an opportunity that is already lost. Maybe already lost. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody is definitely needing to take action before the opportunity slips away because the opportunity, you can't fight gra gravity. I mean, if you don't take it, I mean, it's upside down. It's definitely going to fall away. It's definitely slipping away as we speak. It is. Because somebody wasn't loyal. They didn't have the courage to... fight for wish fulfillment. They just didn't have the courage. All they could do was deceive and lie and cheat. But now they see, now they see that they didn't do the right thing with that justice card reversed. They didn't do the right thing and they've probably received some sort of dose of karma. They probably have with that justice reversed. Maybe they've been left out on the cold now, and now they want to come back to their stability that they threw away the first time. I don't know. Looks as though, I mean, <clears throat> this is love heals. <clears throat> and there's definitely going to be difficulty in communication, by the way. This is love heals. There's an opportunity for healing here of a situation. And it starts with communication. It starts with communication. So I feel like somebody is really, really thinking about communicating. And they probably, are this. I mean, this is sort of communication. So I think that somebody is going to take action and communicate. Whew. The pain that they have endured. <laughs> Wow. And maybe this is the closure that you need. Maybe it's the closure that they need. This person is probably about to take that power, to take that truth, and take those swords out and stand up and do the right thing. It's like it's the end of a difficult situation because this person is finally deciding to take action. This is the completion of the end of a difficult situation. Could have been dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's been some sort of loneliness, bitterness, resent hatefulness, jealousy, suspicion that has hindered a relationship from growing. And now we have this choice. Somebody's in the process of making a choice in between two people. And perhaps something has ended with one and now they want to go back to their heart, to the one they love. So this person does not really have the courage at this point. They may not find the courage. They may not have the strength and the willpower. You know, this is somebody that is letting ego get in the way. And they, you know, I mean, the strength reversed is kind of like a, a cowardly mentality. And maybe they're seeing that in the past... That's what it was. That's what happened. I didn't have the strength to face my fears. I, I couldn't. I couldn't. I was a coward. It looks to me like pride and ego was a big thing here. Really, really big thing. And this person, whoever it is, has learned a lesson. And they've really received some sort of divine guidance that it's time for me to come through with the truth. Even though they're scared to death. There's a lot of fear here. Definitely. But this, you know, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. 
I need to go after this love that I dream of. So somebody, I think that I do feel like this is really some sort of reunion or some sort um, with somebody that you have known before, but there's been something in in the middle. I think there's been a person, I do, I feel like there's been a person in the middle that has hindered this union. But I think that's over now. I think that's over now. I think that person, that monkey in the middle, it's over now. And this person has learned a karmic lesson and they want, they want love, okay? So if you are single, if you are single, there's an opportunity for a new love connection with somebody that you do not expect. Um, and this could also be somebody from your past coming back, okay? A really, really good. I have to be honest with you. It could be. Um, this could be somebody brand new as well. Whatever this is, it is going to lead to wish fulfillment and healing. And healing for sure. Healing of a very difficult situation that you have been in. And it comes with honest, truthful communication. This healing comes with honest, truthful communication. Somebody is absolutely waking up. It's like going through some sort of awakening about how they hurt another person. And it's like that was where if that was where my wish fulfillment was. So I feel like there's an there's some sort of um decision being made and it's a, it's a, it's really serious. It's like a this a serious decision is being made to Follow the, follow the heart. Follow the heart. Whether this leads you out of one relationship to, to heal so that you can get ready for another. Or it leads you back to the one you love. I mean, somebody is making a heartfelt decision to go in the direction of their dreams, okay? And make a choice between two. Somebody's making a choice between two people. There's no doubt. One of them is kind of bitter and hard to love. And the other one is just jealous and suspicious. So, I mean, it's... it's and this person is, is about to take action because it feels like somebody else has left them in the cold. And now they see, see the truth of a situation, whatever the case is. Um... There's hope. And this person does feel like, you know, they, they want something. They want some sort of, they want to come out of this period. They want to come out of this. They want to go home. But they're, they're like, I'm afraid to go home because I'll be attacked if I do. So, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like there's been a terrible, terrible injustice here. Somebody now sees the truth. They see um, the mistakes that they made and they would like to heal the situation. But they're going to have to find the courage to communicate to do so. Um, this could be somebody brand new that is deciding to leave somebody that just isn't... It's unrealistic, okay? It's unrealistic. And they know that they have a better opportunity. Somebody is leaving an unrealistic situation to find true love, to follow their heart. Because that's what they've been told to do. Somebody's listening and they're going to they're gonna follow through. So that's what today is about. Today is about following your heart. And finding the strength to do so because there's a there's an opportunity for a blessing once you do. Yeah, so anyway, I feel like there's a there's a breakup that leads to new love. That's what this is. It is. A breakup that leads to to renewal or new love, whichever way it goes. Because for some of you, for a lot of you, 
this is a reconciliation. For, for many of you, this is somebody brand new that is coming in. The fact of the matter is, is your heart knows. You know that the high priest is twice. You know which one this is. You know where your heart lies. And it's time to be logical. And somebody is. Somebody is going to be logical and go after their wish fulfillment. I'm going to drop this game I've been playing and come through. What I said was, I'm going to drop this game I've been playing and come through with the truth. And that's what's going to happen here. Somebody is going to communicate the truth about how they truly feel. Whether it causes a breakup or a new beginning. Hey, there's thousands of people that watch this. Somebody's headed in a new direction. And it is towards wish fulfillment. And you know why? Because they be honest and they speak the truth and they find the courage to do so. So that's what I have. Good luck. You know. You know what you need to do. Your heart knows the way.